Um, Wayne, thanks for joining us this evening. Obviously, it's a weird circumstances that we're in for, for an FA Cup tie, but um, how is everyone looking forward to this one despite what's going on in the world? Yeah, very much so. Um, I think, obviously, with the latest government guidelines, um, this is a bit of a release for, for the lads, if you like, to, uh, to come training, um, have a bit of fun, see the lads, and, and prepare well for, for Sunday. Um, and again, we're in a unique, unique situation where we've been allowed to do that um, because we're in this competition. Um, but as you say, it's, uh, it's a lot different than, than when we found ourselves this time last year preparing for a game in the FA Cup. Was the FA Cup something you you targeted again this year? Obviously, you had fantastic experiences of it last year, and I guess everyone wanted to repeat that, even though it's a, it's a relatively new team. I think this competition's massive um, for, for clubs of our stature, of our size. Um, the funding that comes with it is is massive, and and can keep a club like ours going for for a couple of years. And, and we obviously found that out first hand last year. Um, if I'm honest, when 43 players turned up for the first training session. Um, I really didn't envisage us qualifying for the first round of the FA Cup. Um, my main aim was to obviously work with the new new recruits we brought in and try and get a little bit of game understanding and a bit of morale and togetherness from them and, and try and hit the ground running in the league. But you know, we found ourselves playing um, 12 games this year um, and only five league games. Um, because we've played seven cup games with the FA Cup and the FA Trophy, this being our 13th game. So, um, yeah, it's been a it's been a challenge uh, for, for sure, but uh, it's one that the lads have been first class um, in their preparation for, for for every game that we play. Yeah, with all those challenges around what what's going on outside, how easy has it been for you and the squad to concentrate on the football? I think you live in your own little bubble in the, in the football world um, when you're in training as I say you're, you're, you're fully preparing and, and, and concentrating on, on, on training itself and, and the game ahead um, and don't forget we're, we're talking about not many players that have been out of work um, all day for, for, for the majority of them and this is a bit of a release for them um, it's a little bit different now we've, we've gone back into lockdown um, because maybe some of them have been at home <coughs> a little bit more than, than at work, um, but it's a release in, in other aspects, you know, people might have kids and obviously wives um, and then give them a couple of hours out of the house to, to come training and, and obviously look forward to, to what will be a, a real big game on, on Sunday. It's a big game. Obviously, the, the 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 clubs higher up the pyramid have been used to playing behind closed doors with, with no supporters. It's something you and, and your players are going to have to get used to on Sunday. Yeah, very much so, I think. Morgan have obviously experienced that week in and week out at their level, uh, where they've had no fans in, in big stadiums, is where we've been used to um, what a maximum of 400 people, um, whether it be home or away, in, in the competitions that we've, we've, we've been in this year. So it's going to be unique, if you like, for, for us as a, as a team, um, for the players as individuals, um, but I'm sure we'll uh, create our own atmosphere. What do you make of the draw? Because Morecambe perennially recently have, have, have been struggling at, at the end of League Two and just hanging on to their Football League status. But Derek Adams seems to have changed the mentality there and they're actually having a decent season. Yeah, Derek's a very well-respected manager and, and done well at a number of clubs that he's been at. Um, so we're under no illusion that it's going to be a, a tough challenge. Um, as you said, they've had a decent start to the season themselves. Um, and obviously they're, they're full-time players, so um, we're under no illusions it's, it's going to be a tough game, but it, it's one that we're looking forward to um, and, and one that we're going to give our best shot to try and get a result on the day, um, as we have done every other fixture this year. Um, we're going to try and prepare well, we've done a bit of homework on them, uh, we'll put a bit of information into the lads, try and prepare them the best way that we can. Um, but it's important that the lads go out there and believe in themselves and try and do what we're good at and try and take the game to them because if they don't and we worry about obviously the opposition too much it, it could be a, a tough half for them. And just finally from me, Wayne, obviously you, you've played the qualifying rounds. Um, you, you're used to the fact that no replays has to be sorted out on the day. Does it bring an extra edge to the game, the fact that there is there is no replay there? 
Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Um, you know, it's got to be settled on the day. Um, some teams will pay for replays and, and finances that come with the replay, but that's not the case in this year. Um, so it's important that we do um, start the game well and don't leave nothing behind because I think this round goes to extra time and, and then penalties. So um, it's important that we try and get a result on the day and, and that's going to be the game. Nice one. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate your time. Cheers, Glenn. Thanks, Wayne. Cheers, Glenn. Uh, Donovan, if we can cut straight to you, please. You're on mute, Donovan. Sorry. Hi, Wayne. How are you doing? Donovan, how are you, mate? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, just a couple for me. Just the appearance of last season, how much has it helped you in preparing this season for this stage? Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's helped in the fact that uh, you may have a little bit more information on league teams that you can get your hands on. Um, I've ex exhausted all the people that I know, know in the game to try and get as much information on Morgan as I can, as I did against Orient last year and, and Newport. Um, so, yeah, it's it, it certainly prepared us better, if you like, I think, also, the successes that we had in the competition last year has given the lads a little bit of a leap um, in the fact that we're not here just to make the numbers up. Um, and we're, we're here to obviously get a result on Sunday. Um, and as I said, as I said the, the results and the, the progression that we had last year in the same competition um, has given the lads a lot of a leap. Yeah. And regards the tie actually taking place as well, obviously, at the start of the week, they said that the uh, ties involving clubs below the National League can go ahead. That must be a relief to you, bearing in mind you don't want a backlog of games, so to speak, um, with your season um, to, you know, sort of halted for the month. Yeah, very much so. Um, I think it was important, obviously, that we've got this fixture played. Um, number one, because I feel it's a real good reward for the lads for the start that they've had for the season, winning nine and drawing three. Um, and it just gives them a bit of exposure as an individual, as it did to the individuals we had last year that have gone on to bigger and better things off the strength of the successes that they had at Morgan and Tiptree and in this competition. Um, it's on the TV, which again, um, you would like to think it raises profiles um, of the players. Um, and, you know, it was important, again, with the finances that come with the game. Um, it would have been a massive, massive loss for the football club if we wasn't allowed to, to play this game um, with, with the TV rights that we have as well. Brilliant. All the best on Sunday. Cheers, Donovan. Good to see you, mate. No worries. You too. Uh, Tom, if we can cut straight to yourself next, mate, please. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. How's it going? Hello, Tom. Um, picking up from what you were chatting about with Donovan there, um, you know, with the season now on hold, everyone's a bit miserable. Oh, Win really lift everyone, couldn't it? Yeah, very much so. Um, I think you know the the round that we've played in. This is going to be our sixth com uh, our sixth game in the competition. Um, so you've seen the locals get behind the lads um, through every round, um, and I'm delighted for them that yes, they can't be at the stadium and, and be at the ground to absorb the atmosphere, but at least they can watch it on the box. Um, so I'm sure they'll be getting behind us in a different way. And, and as I said. And this is a very tough time for, for all concerned, um, not just in football, but outside of football. Um, people's mental health um, is, is, is obviously a big factor as well. So for them to get the opportunity to, to watch a bit of football on the box, cheer their local team on, um, whilst having a cup of tea, is, uh, I'm sure is a big help. Last year, Wayne, was memorable. It was magical. It's cliche, but it, it genuinely it was an incredible cup run. Um, are you still benefiting from the finances, you know, from last year? I mean, given all football clubs have been affected financially going into this year, how much are you thankful for last year's cup run still? Um, yeah, I think, as I said, as I mentioned before, the exposure is, is fantastic for everybody involved. Um, that's what this competition is all about, giving non-league players the opportunity to fit their wits against, you know, professional full-time players. Um, and it's no difference for my staff. You know, they want to pick their wits against staff that are doing it for a living um, on a full-time basis. 
uh, regards to the finance. I think COVID hit everybody really, really hard in, in any industry, in any walk of life. So we, we haven't really got the, the finances that, that we probably had last year, um, which is, is a bit of a blow. But again, everybody's in the same boat. I'm not feeling poverty. That's the way the world is at the moment. Real difficult times. And, and we're just doing the best with, with what we've got. Cheers, Wayne. Good luck. Cheers, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. And, and Sahar, we'll cut to you next, please. Hi, Wayne. So uh, Hale here from the BBC. Uh, just something that Glenn was saying to you, I just wanted to pick on that, see if you can elaborate. Um, it, it, it's a one-off tie now. Do you, do you prefer that? Are you preferring that this season? Is there something more magical when you get to the ground, knowing that it will be decided today and not you know, a replay in 10 days' time? Um, yes, you know, I'm sure that you know, when this lads step over that white line, I don't think that, that will come into their heads. Um, maybe the last sort of five minutes, ten minutes of the game, in, the, in normal circumstances, if we draw in the game, they, they might have one eye on a replay. Um, but obviously that's not the case this time. It's not going to affect our preparation. It's not going to affect the way that we approach the game, um, that there isn't going to be a, a replay. Um, we'll, we'll go about it just like we have done every other game this year and we'll, we'll look to, to win the game of football on the day. How's your, how's your week been in preparation-wise with everything that's going on and... You know, with the lockdown, how, how are the lads getting on in training this week? Yeah, they've been brilliant. We've, uh, we've put a bit of information into them in regards to Morecambe, the way they've set up, or the way we think they're going to set up, the personnel that they have. Um, we managed to call our game off Tuesday, um, which again was a, was a big benefit to us because it gives us two training sessions with the lads um, in preparation for the game. Um, but it's important that we don't flood them with too much information and, and obsess about the opposition. Um, the game on Sunday is going to be very much about us. Um, the way we take the game to them, we really want to worry about us and, and how we're going to you know, affect the game of football to, and play to our strengths and our philosophy. That said, just like we, we have done every other game this year, and we've come up against some teams higher up in the pyramid already in this competition, um, and our approach is going to be no different on Sunday. The, the, the chaps who went on the run with you last season in the Cup, have you asked them to talk to the, to the new players in the squad about the experience and how to cope with a big tie like Sundays? Well, we've only got two, um, sorry, three from last year. Um, all the other yeah, that's, what, that's my point. Have you asked those three to talk to, to the new members of your squad who, who've joined you from last season? I'm sure that the experienced players like Stokesy and Ben and um, the lads that were with us last year, um, they'll be tapping into the, to the younger lads that we have within the, in the squad. We're a very, very uh, young team, very much a young squad, and, and the benefits and the, the experiences that they had last year would, would be vital to, so that they can tap into the lads. Yes, I'm sure they will. Can I, can I quickly confirm with you that the chaps who did go on the cup run with you last season, is it Ben in goals? Yeah. Um, ben, Sam ben, Coombs, ben. Martin Stokes? Ben McNamara, um, Sam Coombs was with us, and Hamza Kid was with us. We've also obviously got Martin Stokes um, that, that came and joined us, but unfortunately he came to start the cup run, so he was cup side. So low was a big part okay. of the successes that we had leading into the games against um, Newport. He, uh, he couldn't actually play. Yeah, so that three of them. And just, and just finally from me, I know... Th I know we said this a thousand times, but it's a real, real shame, isn't it? Um, without the fans on Sunday, it, it's cup football, really, and derbies that, you know, you want the fans to be there and it would have been magical. You probably would have tried to match or even beat the record attendance that you sat last year um, last year at home to Newport. Yeah, I mean, the FA Cup, that's the beauty about the FA Cup. You get the minnows like ourselves. Um, a league team coming to a minnows ground is more than a victory. And, and we all saw last year against Newport the, the atmosphere that was generated um, by just under 2,000 fans here um, on the day was, was, as you said, magical, uh, unforgettable for the, for the locals as well who experienced that. Um, but it's a different world we're living in now. And, and mm. I totally understand and totally respect um, the government's position that they're in. And ultimately, um, football West have to take a, um, a sidestep and, and put on the back burner because everybody's health's paramount and um, I totally respect why they're doing it. 
Thank you, Wayne. Hope it goes well. Yes, Holly. Thank you. And Isabel, we'll, we'll come straight to you. Uh, last question for Wayne, and then we'll move on to Martin. Thank you. Sorry, I've been hogging hogging your time. Um, obviously, this is a big deal as a manager. I just wondered, we kind of touched on it a bit, but what are your, your aspirations with, with this team or, or on a personal level as a manager? Aspirations as a team is to, to keep, keep being successful, keep building on the good start that we've had um, and the unbeaten record that we, we possess at the moment. I felt it was important that we, we try to keep that intact going into this game. Um, psychological, psychologically more than anything else for the lads um, going into off a, off a good run going into this game um, and we just try and build on performances we're still gelling as a group we're a very very new team we're still gelling, gelling as a group and, and building up a rapport relationship on the pitch and I'm sure that will get stronger the, the more games that we play in um, for me as an individual you, you know you just got to keep working hard um, you've got to take one week at a time one game at a time um, but hopefully this sort of um, rises my profile, if you like, um, as a manager. And I'd, I'd love an opportunity to manage higher up, as I'm sure everybody else would uh, in and around my sort of level. So I'm no different to nobody else. But I'm a great believer in earning the right. Um, and at the minute, you, you can't earn the right until you've, you've done something at the level you think you're at. And so that's always going to be the aim and the attitude that I'll have. Thanks so much for your time. Uh, Rose, cheers, Isabel.